Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. Today's video I'm going to explain how you can create Sonic Boom in the new F-18 Hornet with some update 7. So I did make a video a couple of days ago, it's quite popular, showing you how to create Sonic Boom. We're over on the PC, it's going to be exactly the same on Xbox. What you need to do is first of all, go up to your hood and then go to your camera then go to showcase and then switch off drone follow me mode speed up the drone speed and then position you're going to have to position your camera somewhere where you want to create the sonic boom so it doesn't matter i'm at a, a current airfield i'm going to set it as here so we're going to capture the sonic boom along the runway so i'm going to take off fly inverted come back round. we're going to hit the 650 knots and we should be able to hit hear the sonic boom so if you're doing it over a city, you have to spawn over the city, put on active pause, and then switch off drone follow me mode. Position your drone wherever you want the sonic boom to take place, and then build up that speed and fly over the drone. So we'll go to an external view now. Another thing to remember, if you've just updated to sim update 7, you will need to, let me just quickly press escape, you'll need to change the assistance options to true to life so as a default as soon as you update the ground it will be on all assists you need to update it for true to life or else you just will not be able to create a sonic boom so make sure you press apply the settings we'll go back to the game let's get rid of all this we we'll keep this just up here I need to be switching from external to cockpit. We're going to take off now. So I'm going to release the parking brake. And apply the throttle. And we're just going to take off straight ahead. In fact, I'll move this over there to just get away. Breathe back on the stick. Gear up and we'll start climbing. So we're jumping to the cockpit. Scroll out a bit. We need to engage the afterburner. So I'm going to left click on the mouse and then right click and apply the afterburner. Go back to the next turn view and now we need to climb and reach about 15,000 feet. So the F 18 at low level is going to struggle to reach 650 knots that will be uh, breaking the sound barrier so we're going to go into a dive back along the runway and hopefully you should be able to hear and create a sonic boom well, I'm going to turn this back around now pull some G speed is increasing heading on my track over Rutland it's still descending 5,000 feet speed is looking good try and get us a little bit lower and then what we're going to have to do is quickly switch over to the drone showcase mode so a little bit straight to showcase there's our plane and there's our sonic boom back to external gain some height switch off the afterburners with the burn a bit of fuel and that's how you create the sonic boom the F-18 Hornet. Just make sure you get it above 650 knots and then you will be able to create a sonic boom wherever you position your drone. Hope you like this video. It's exactly the same on the Xbox. Like I said, make sure you've got the assist option on true to life because you'll just struggle to actually switch the afterburners on. If you're new around here, I do make Microsoft Flight Simulator tutorials. Please leave a like and consider subscribing and I'll get back to you with another video. Thanks for watching.